What's up, YouTube? It's Mike with Mike's Car Hole. Um, I realized when I filmed this video uh, about two weeks ago that I didn't do an intro, and I also missed a couple of the first steps. So I'm gonna go back and show you. Um, I'm replacing the license plate bracket on the rear bumper of my Evo. I think the reason why I messed up the intro is because I thought for some reason I didn't have to take the bumper off. Well, as you'll see in this video, you do have to take the bumper off. So <laughs> I'll start that, I'll show you. Um, you have to take the tail lights off. I'm not gonna take them both, but on the Evo, two, two screws here. Set those aside. Pulls out. And then you'll unplug it. Unplug it, tail lights out. And then I'm using this interior tool. Let me see, I'll grab the camera and show in here. This, this panel here is what needs to come out. And there's four, four pops. Um, so there's one here. Can't get it. Let me see if I get this one. I don't need to take all four out to show you guys. Oh uh, yeah, I will. Uh, one's out. And then the camera back to the camera person. Camera person. Pops. It really helps to have these tools in your interior. You can do this with the screwdriver, and I think I did with the screwdriver my first go around. So you pull it from the bottom, and it should, it should pop up, up and out of the way. Now you need this because four of the bolts for the bumper are back here which I'll show later on in this video, but I just wanted to show you, because where I started filming was at this step right here. So if you come over here, we'll cut to two weeks ago when I was removing this bumper. <laughs> All right, we're good. So far I've broken every bolt and had to rip off those clips. And I still don't know how this bumper comes off, so. <laughs> and now that I still have two bolts on each side. I should loosen it up. Hopefully I don't break these ones. You have 110 mil down here near the bottom of the tire. There's no room for a socket. Just need a, I just grabbed a wrench, so. And there would be room if I took the tires off. I'm just gonna, just gonna dive that deep into this project. The front bumper is a lot easier to take off. See that angle, it's coming up this bolt, and I can't 
it eventually. Tie it in order. <laughs> See if I can get an extension on it to do it. Doing this at home. Make life easier for you, take the tires off. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like the extension worked. It did work. <laughs> uh, Alright, so along with the <clears throat> two on the top that are under the tail light that I broke. I broke that one, had to break these plastic clips off. Here, you had the two on the side. So the one that went up, one down here. You also have a couple of bolts on the inside. So you have one right there that's mirrored on this side behind. Mirrored right behind there. And then you have to remove this panel as well. The trunk panel and you have a couple more bolts. Let's see. I think there's four in here. You have a bolt there. There's another one there. Anyways, once you once you take this panel off, that's when uh, you'll have access to those bolts. This panel comes off pretty easy. There's just a couple of press pops in here. So there's one, you know, like when it's in the car, it's like this. You have four of those. And, you know, it's just got some clips on the top. So you'll pry it from the bottom and pop it up. Um, the only thing I did on mine is there was a little, there's a little cap here on the, this carpet or whatever this is. I unscrewed this to give me the leverage I needed to get it out. You don't have to take this thing all the way off. So, I don't suspect I'm going to have any issues with any of these six bolts like I did the other one. So, I'm feeling better about this whole project already. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these, all these bolts out and get this bumper removed. All right, so I got the bolt off over here. It was a bolt, 10 mil. I broke this one. This was also 10 mil. And then the four that were here ended up just being nuts. So it's four 10 mil nuts. Those ones came off really well. Everything should be unbolted, so the bumper should, should come off. So I'm gonna hand the camera off so maybe we can see this. So to unhook this, it's just a plug. So you'll push down on this, and you pull towards the driver's side. It was hooked up right there. So the bumper's off completely. I did get lucky. I do think the bolts that broke, I will be able to address. Got a little bees nest starting here. Um, so the new bracket that I got replaces this one. But from looking at it, I have to drill out 
the rivets that hold it in. So if you were gonna do this project, you would have for sure had to take the bumper out. Um, and then the bolts I broke, I should be able to address. The two, two of them were on here. So there's one here, I have access to it on the bottom. So there's one here. And I do have a little access on the bottom, so I can heat this up now that there's no plastic. I'll go through, I'll show that in a separate video how I do that. <clears throat> and then the other one that broke, I may have to drill, but it was this one right here. So I'm gonna try to get that one out too. I'm gonna slather it with uh, PB Blast and hopefully I'm successful. Um, so. Yep, I mean, it's just these two. I'm gonna get the correct drill bit, drill those out. I'll have the wife uh, show me doing that and get the new one in. pieces in there for the license plate uh, to bolt up to but new brackets in um, I'm not really gonna show putting it all back together it comes apart or it goes back together the same way it came apart all right so I'm gonna pull this thing out of the garage really quick and wash it before I start putting it all back together it's just grimy um, in different spots so it's the best best opportunity to get it you know it's got just some random stuff in here I'd like to clean up. I think this is some like asphalt or something that got in there somehow. It's gonna be so fast now. Um, so yeah, just gonna clean it all up with the hose before I put it back together. <clears throat> all right, so we got the car all put back together. I ended up using some of that rust converter I've, I've shown before. Um, I have a lot more I gotta do on this car, so I'll show that in a, on, a, on a later date, but it's just kind of a mess left over from that. Um, bumper's all back on. I know it's dark out here. I'll show. And I got these lights all put back together. So, lights back on. Everything's all back together on it. So it's been a little bit more more work than I anticipated, but <clears throat> overall not bad. So, <clears throat> the other thing I got coming up real soon for the Evo is I'm gonna the my steering wheel is really nasty, so I bought a uh, a rat. So I'm gonna take the steering wheel off and sew it on. Uh, I think that's coming in about 10 days or so. Um, I guess I'll close out this video. This uh, company, I guess I'll add them to my toolbox. I've got a lot of Tommy F. Yeah spec stickers. I think oh, right there. Let's see if I can do this while recording. This is difficult. Boosted fabrication. Oh, maybe right here. All 
All right, you're on the toolbox. So, thanks for watching my video. Uh, look forward to the Evo steering wheel. That one's coming up soon. And I do need to do a detailed job on that car on the interior. It's pretty bad, so I'm gonna pull the seats, scrub the carpets and all that. So that one will be coming pretty soon too. Um, if you're new here, thanks for watching. Um, hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning viewer, uh, I appreciate you. Um, let me know if there's anything you wanna see in the future. Thank you, have a good one.